No. I am befuddled by your white man magic. But Flor. Yes. I'm on the mic. First. I must do native dance to clear stage of evil spirits. Hold this. A moment of respect, please. <laughs> Stage is clear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bachelor number one, Screaming Eagle. Now, Bachelor number two is a sexy gigolo from east of Eden. He's the baddest felly this side of Delhi. He puts the bang in Bangladesh and the Masari Sharif back in Masari Sharif. Please welcome Punjab Macaroons team. <laughs> arms like Kali, but I've got the other four in a naughty place, baby. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bachelor. Number two, Punjab Macaroon Sting. All right, Bachelor number three has a four-year degree from FU in sanitary engineering with a minor in BS. He likes long walks on the beach and obscure black exploitation films circa 1977 through 74. He may be uh, your super, but he's definitely your super fly. Please welcome his bad self, Jovan Muscatel! <laughs> of your bachelors orally. Not yet, yet. And uh, you may now interview them at greater length. You may talk to them in any order you like. You have bachelor number one, Screaming Eagle. I have large peace pipe. Bachelor number two, put your macaroon stain. I put the bomb in Bombay, baby. Or bachelor number three, Javon Muscatel. Wait till you see my body underneath this shirt. So, who would you like to talk with first, Floor? Um, bachelor number one. Bachelor number one, what would you like to know about uh, Screaming Eagle? Uh, what sets you apart from the other two? Bachelor number one, what sets you apart from either of the other two bachelors? I have my own mic. Uh, <laughs> I would like to answer this question, but first I must give Flo her spirit name. <laughs> I must speak to the great spirit. Great spirit gives you great oh Great spirit is upset But he gives you great spirit name Slippery Beaver because like a beaver, you are hard working. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> what sets you apart from either of the other bachelors? Well, whoa. I have luxurious dark hair. Over here we have copper scalp. And somewhere there's a loaf of Wonder Bread missing its wrapper. <laughs> Okay. As I said, he is a mystic, and sometimes his meanings are not immediately clear. Well, that leaves 
Two more bachelors. Yeah, bachelor number two, Punjab Macaroon State. Uh, the wrong kind of Indian girl. You want the uh uh kind, not the uh uh kind. No. That's right, baby. Or bachelor number three, Javon Muscatel. Oh, we got, oh man, I gotta tell you the difference between me. I know this ain't the question, but I'm on the stage. <laughs> okay. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, hold on, all right. Now, who do you want to talk with next? No, I want to know. Jovan Muscatel, well, we need a different question now, a probing, penetrating question for Jovan. Um, if he was a car, what car would he be? Batch number three, if you were an automobile, what kind of car would you be and why? That, that's the easy question. I'm gonna answer that for you right now. Um, it's easy, because the, um, I'm real sexy and everything, um, and my body, I got a nice butt, so uh, I would be a pinto, because I'm, I'm blowing up in the back. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bachelor number three. That is it, that's it. Well, that leaves Bachelor number two, Punjab Macaroon Steen. Yeah, there was something blowing in the back there. <laughs> what would you like to know about our felly from Delhi? Oh. Can I get a question from the audience? Oh, I'm sure Flo, if somebody came up to you and says, gee, you're cute, I'd like to go out with you. There's a few things they'd like to know first, right? So what's an important thing to know about any guy who wants to date you in Miami? Where would you take him on first date? All right, batch number two, where would you take Flo on her first date? Oh, oh Flo, you are the sweetest chutney, baby. <laughs> first off, girl, you know I'm a fib from the east, 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 east side. Girl, I'll take you to where any man would take you where I'm from. I'll take you to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Authentic Punjabi restaurant located on 163rd in Biscay. <laughs> Girl, it's one of my entrepreneurships. And after we have a wonderful meal full of lots of sweet and milky things that you can't really tell what origin they're of, <laughs> we'll go back to my place, baby. And we'll get number page 12354 of the Kama Sutra. <laughs> the position is called taking the elephant to an ice cream parlor, but it does not know what flavor to decide out of the 30 watt. So then you decide order, but it says, no, I don't like that one. But you get samples of everything, and you put an ice cream cone off that. Then when you leave the store, you trip over the sidewalk and drop your ice cream cone. I'm not going to go over the whole thing now, baby, but I'm sure to leave a curry stain. <laughs> Well, what you have heard from all three bachelors. Do you have enough information to make your decision? Or would you like to ask one final question to be answered by all three bachelors in a lightning round? A litmus test for all three to test the pH balance of their love for you. I think I've heard enough. She thinks she's heard enough. All right, but before you decide, floor, audience, by show of applause, help her out. Should she choose bachelor number one? Or should you choose bachelor number two? Or should you choose bachelor number three? Well, Claude, the audience can't seem to make up their mind. So, who will your dream date of a lifetime be here on The Mating Game? I think you choose number three. Number three, stay right there, Claude. Before getting your dream date of a lifetime, you can say hello and goodbye to the bachelor. Choose, you do not choose bachelor number one. Say hello and goodbye to uh, Screaming Eagle. <laughs> no, choose Screaming Eagle. Don't put a Choose movie star. Big surprise. <laughs> well, Screaming Eagle is not sore loser. No, oh, maybe he is. <laughs> Thank you, bachelor number one. You also like to choose bachelor number two. Say hello and goodbye to Punjab Macaroon Steam. Oh, baby, baby, you've gone lots of crazy. I was recently featured on World's Funniest Pimps with Keegan Ice T, girl. You don't know, you don't know Jack about Jahanga like a dumb body And now it's time for you to stand up. Stand up and say hello to your dream man of a lifetime, Javon Muscatel. Javon, come on down.